So I'm going to be putting up some pictures right here, 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 whatnot throughout this whole video of Tamar's car being broken into. Okay. So she apparently had like other documents within her car that she was going to go and shred and all this. And these Ray Rays and Pookies, of course, we already know what color they were, unfortunately. But these Ray Rays and Pookies go into like this parking garage. Tamar said that she may have forgotten to lock her door. A lot of these Ray Rays and Pookies, they'll go and pull on the door to see if it opens. Yes or no. If it opens, oh man, we're good to go. You know, so that's the kind of stuff that they would do. They went into her car and they went and stole everything. She said everything was ransacked. She said everything was just disorganized and she was absolutely upset by it. And well, it, like anyone should be. I don't know if you've ever gotten your stuff stolen from you. If you ever gotten like, not even just like, okay, man, someone stole my wallet. But like, seriously, someone going into a private space, your car, your house, whatever the case may be, and robbing you. I've had that happen when I was younger and it is a terrifying feeling. It is a, it's terrible. I remember when it happened when I was younger um, and they never found out who it was, but they went through everything. They went and stole some rings that I had and bracelets. The rings were only worth, I think it was like 25 cent cause it was like a 10 pack for like two or three bucks or something like that I got from the beauty supply. So you got 25 cent rings. You stole probably $200 worth on my desk, I mean, on my dresser. You know, they went into my, my panty drawer. It just everything. You know what I mean? They trashed my mom's room the worst. Oh God. It was terrible. It was terrible. Went through everything. Clothes, drawers, everything and just took everything out and just everything was all over the floor we had an armoire they went in there took everything out that's actually how i found out about it because my grandma she was at the house or whatever um she picked my older she picked up my younger brother um and then she went and she would chill out and then she went um to pick me up a little bit after I, i'm the first one in the house i come up the stairs I look in the hallway because I'm going to drop off my stuff in my room. And I was like, why is all of this stuff falling? I was like, um, what's going on? I go in the armoire. I'm, I'm seeing everything all on the floor in the hallway. I'm like, what is happening? I turn my head in my room. And I'm like, oh God. Like my eyes were wide. And I'm like, oh God. I was like, what the f happened here? I go, oh my God, I go and look in my mom's room. Her room was trashed out the worst. And I was like, oh my God, I go outside and I scream to my grandma and I'm like, we've been robbed. And she was like, what? I was like, we have been robbed. I was like, they stole a whole bunch of stuff up in here. And then she's like, oh my God, oh my God. So she ends up calling 911. They end up coming. And, you know, I go and call my mom, call my sister, because it was just me, my grandma, and myself there. And I go and call my mom, call my sister, you know, text them, you know, because they were at school still or whatever, because I think I was in middle school and they were in high school. So they were not going to be back until like another hour or whatever later, you know. So they come back or whatever, or I think maybe it was just one of them. The other one was maybe in college or something. I don't remember. Um, but I remember texting everybody and I was like, yo, we've been robbed went in the fri refrigerator freezer um, I guess these people thought that we sold drugs or something because uh, you look it up and you you know the cops were like you know you looked it up on Google and everything and the cops were also saying like yeah go in the refrigerator and freezer they think that you're stashing something in there we're like well that's we're we're middle class working family that's not what we're doing unlike you hoodlums we actually work for a fucking living you know what I mean? Um, so it was all that kind of stuff. I mean, everything is just, you feel terrible. You feel violated. And I remember when it happened, almost all of us, I remember my dad, my mom, uh, my younger brother, my sister, and me, we all laid and we had hardwood floors. We all laid for about a week in the living room because we were all 
at least for us maybe my dad not so much and maybe my mom not so much but everyone else we were terrified of we were terrified of being in our in our room you know we didn't it was just you just didn't feel safe you know so we all just laid together on the floor blankets pillows and all that for about a week you know so it's it's a terrifying feeling you know so that's why when I see that these people get their sweet revenge, these people who are your Ray Rays and Pookies doing all this stuff, I don't feel bad because you guys are okay with just taking from somebody. Why would you go and steal something from her car? Why would you go and just trash out her stuff? And then I'm sure you stole that car that you were in, you know? So that's something that really hits home for me because I know how that feels. I know the violation that you feel just if you feel kind of gross like oh god like it, i could feel these people's essence there's there you know everything in this house you know what i mean so imagine her being in her car or anybody who gets robbed imagine what they may be feeling like ah oh, i could feel it just doesn't feel that great in here because I feel violated because this is my place of peace because this is my own personal property and you have brought yourself onto it you know so I really hope that they get these fools I really hope they get these fools because this is the kind of stuff that really bothers me you know and you know people could talk about police brutality and all this kind of stuff but I'm gonna be real if the black people are not committing the crimes then you won't have anything to report on you would then say like okay well black people man he jaywalking or okay i guess we gotta go to positive news but instead of us highlighting the positivity in the black community that we have so much of we have to keep focusing on this because you have you have about the, the you have the rest of us and then you just got this pocket of people who are just evil nasty serial killers that's what they are the serial robbers the serial killers if you're killing more than two people you're a freaking serial killer most of these people have killed more than two people okay and you guys are just okay with it no one's coming to step up and say like yo black boys you know i'm i'm over the whole rehabilitation i'm sorry i'm over the whole rehabilitation i'd rather just lock you up and throw away the key that's where i'm at with this because you think it's okay to violate and you know that this isn't right yet you continue to do it you know I'm, I'm tired of it i'm so tired of it because you have a fair amount of people who i mean i was just reading this thing where this girl she's like 15 years old and she she zoomed from or maybe 14 15 she zoomed from the ninth grade all the way to the 12th grade black girl using her smarts using her brain you have people who were going to college you have people who even if you weren't they're starting their own businesses they're doing their own trades they're working an honest job whatever the case may be even if you're not making bank you're still able to do what you're supposed to do work as a citizen within the society you know and none of that gets highlighted people think they're all black people ignorant because this is what we see we see people robbing people we see people murdering people we see people violating people we see other people assaulting other people this is what we see all the time and it's like where are our black leaders saying yo this stuff needs to stop you know then if I, you know then if i advocate for bringing back the three strike rule that can target these folks then it's like oh sorry that can target these people then it's like oh well no that that three strike rule was racist yeah it was in of itself it was racist but i'm sorry these people need to get off the street you know we keep letting these people juveniles got 50 times you've been arrested 20 times you've been arrested 10 times you've been arrested if you didn't learn from the second time really the first maybe you got caught up in there a second time but that's what the three strike is you know what i mean and i get it was it was filled by racism but we got to get these people off the street these organized crimes who's just out here robbing all everyone who robs you doing all this okay you're still in you're killing people you do mandatory 10 15 years and we don't we don't hear from you and there will be no option for parole okay and if you mess up in there we'll add on there'll be no parole at all okay you mess up in there there's no early release nothing we're not doing that that's what needs to start happening 
because our prison system is not a rehabilitation program anyways okay that's the thing you know so with that being said if you cannot use your own programs and you cannot for yourself understand that what you're doing is wrong why should i have to now be a victim to you you want to go and victimize people and all that and then you get off on a ten dollar bail how is that fair how is it fair that you got tamar braxton over here getting robbed that you got anybody out here getting robbed because you're too lazy to get a job let me know what y'all think about this because the, they got me they got me heated Hey, I greatly appreciate if you could support me. Simply go to ebay.com in the search bar, type in Latrice Limited, click on shops, and then support me. I have a wide variety of items on there, many of my own personal Latrice Limited items, such as candles, bath bombs, soaps, essential oil blends, lingerie robes, so much stuff. I even have men's ties and comic books on there. Definitely support me and do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.